My life with Parkinson's feels like I'm on a dark road, twisting its way through the woods at night. At times, it's almost as if Parkinson's is a thief in the night, silently stealing my ability to walk and talk, at times leaving me stumbling and mumbling along, barely able to be myself. These are the days when I feel my life is one giant road closed. When you have a disease of the brain, every venue of your life is afflicted. Everywhere I turn, my life has changed. Where once I was able to be the caretaker to many, more and more I need others to care for me. And that's not fun. The first time Parkinson's became an unavoidable reality, I was skiing with my sons and grandchildren. Getting off the chairlift, I simply couldn't get my legs to respond to the commands of my brain. I'd skied since I was a teenager. There weren't many runs I hadn't tried or trails I hadn't taken. But on this day, I absolutely could not control my legs. That's when I made the decision to fight back. It's not easy, but it is possible for you and I with Parkinson's to be like the woodcarver who takes an old abandoned tree stump and creates of it a work of art. For while it is true that Parkinson's takes what is familiar, the ways you and I have spent a lifetime living, our marriage, families, and careers, Parkinson's can give us the opportunity to stop and take a look at the heart and soul of who we really are, discovering the image at our core of what really moves us. Parkinson's has opened doors I ordinarily would never enter. Ballet? No way. Maybe a dance class, but with my two left feet, doubtful. But then came the day when I discovered Ballet for Parkinson's, and I found the creative energy I never expected to experience. Letting the rhythm of music course through my body, I became the dancer. The gift I never thought would be mine to be a painter of pictures. The excitement of turning a blank canvas into what I created. It matters little where my body carries me, for now I can explore with pictures and movies the story I wish to create, or the opportunity for me to be the writer of the family story. Parkinson's has helped me to face my fears, to find the courage not to give up. Determined not to be defeated, I religiously went to physical therapy and voice therapy. I exercised, I trained, I worked through Parkinson's until I was at the top of the mountain. You look very confident walking over here. All right, we're ready to finish our odyssey here. We continue our journey down from the top of the mountain. And no matter how much the Parkinson's takes over, he still has an incredible natural ability to ski. People ask me, why are you skiing? You're 75 years old. You got Parkinson's. Skiing is a dangerous sport. Let me tell you why I snow ski. Or for that matter, why I dance ballet, paint, write, produce movies, or even speak publicly as I did in my career as a rabbi. Because when I do, for a few glorious moments, there is no thief in the night or road closed. For a few precious moments, I feel normal. I feel my old self. A call to my wife from the mountains became my milestone. Are you skiing? I'm skiing. I made it.